Hi, Rob Meads back with another renovation update here at Worthington Country Club. And today I'm with the architect behind the renovation, Ricky Nix. Ricky, I know you have a limited amount of time, so I really appreciate you taking a few minutes Absolutely. to uh, spend with a few minutes with me and, of course, the members here. First, I'd just like to ask you, in general, how have you seen the progress going along in the first five weeks? And have there been any surprises or obstacles that you didn't expect? Uh, so far, the progress has been going uh, very well. The weather has been cooperating. Uh, I know everybody in Florida is complaining we haven't been getting any rain, which we certainly need, but we're uh, under construction right now and, and rain's not a welcome factor. Um, no surprises uh, to date. We're putting in the drainage pipe on many of the holes and kind of the only thing we're doing there is, is upsizing some of the pipe and doing some minor rerouting uh, to help preserve some trees. So other than that, no, no big surprises to date. Terrific. So. Now, I know there's been a, you've created a lot of interest and uh, on your mm -hmm. impressive changes that you've done on hole number 17, mm -hmm. which the viewers are watching right now. Can you give me an idea of what your thought process was in enlarging the lake, yep. eliminating the cart path on the, le on the right, right, and of course filling in the lake in front of the green? Right. Um, when Ron and I had done the fo focus groups with the members, it, it became obvious that there were several areas that we needed to improve throughout the golf course and what we call the bottlenecks in front of some of the greens and what you mentioned number 17 was one of the bigger problems that kept uh, getting mentioned by the members so that was one of the main areas we we wanted to address and by filling in the lake the portion that we call the bottleneck up by the green the water management district in in, in the county makes you compensate for the area where you fill so up by the tees we compensated that lake by ex expanding it slightly to offset the, the fill that we did up by the green. Um, as far as the car path running along the right hand side that area uh, through the focus groups as well became an issue with golf balls hitting the cart path and kicking over to the fence and it was it was agreed upon by everybody to let's eliminate that cart path and put what we call a coquina or a shell cart path all along the right hand side and that'll hopefully alleviate the balls bouncing and hitting up against the fence. We're moving some of the the palm trees in a couple areas trying to cluster them up a little bit uh, better where they're not just individual trees throughout um, the whole more in clusters and that's kind of the way in Florida that, that if you look in, at palm trees they're more in clusters rather than individual trees running in a line so hopefully it'll look a little more natural than the, the waste bunker help the balls kicking over to the fence. So. Well, it certainly looks like it's going to be a beautiful hole and it's certainly a challenging one at the same time. Yeah, it is. It is. But it's, uh, it's going to create some good interest and a lot more playable for the ladies and high handicappers. And that's our goal, to really improve the, the, the playing conditions on the golf course for, for all the golfers. So. Terrific. Now, um, we've seen a lot of uh, Brian Cannon's staff out watering the course because obviously the, the irrigation system has been shut off. Yeah. Uh, what's the status on the irrigation system? When do we start turning that back on? It is uh, coming online as we speak. Um, he has some of the areas already online. Last week we got the uh, new pump station installed, the power hooked up to it, the main line connected, and uh, we're connecting each zone of the, of the residential areas, the boulevard. Uh, I think even today we're going up, uh, up under the wall up by the entrance and going to start irrigating that area. Um, I noticed this morning the zone over by the maintenance facility was all, already running, so we're, we're, we're bringing the common grounds under uh, back back online and of course we'll have mother nature to take care of some of the watering as well, well coming into these months yeah I, yes exactly as you know in florida that starts raining in the middle of june so we're really trying to get as much done in the dry conditions as, as we can so it's, it's it's working out well so far everything's good R ricky what can we expect to see over the next four or five weeks what are you going to be focusing on well right now since uh, we have water we're, we're, we're starting to bring water online on the golf course particularly around the greens um after you get them rough shape with the dozer, you need water to, to really fine shape them because uh, the soil out here is so sandy and as you shape it, it just kind of melts and falls, falls back down. So uh, we're going to start heavily watering the green complexes uh, so we can final shape those and start building the greens. Um, 
every, everything's on schedule so far. So, oh boy, okay. that's that's really great to hear. Thank you so much for your oh, time. I really appreciate it. Uh, this has been very enjoyable, and I know you're for our welcome. members have been very informative. And if you don't mind coming back in a few weeks and doing this again, I'd love Be to do it. Be happy to. Be happy to. Maybe we can get uh, Ron involved next time. Uh, we can schedule, and I'll get him down, and we'll get him to do some talking. Terrific. As well. Thank you very much, Ricky. Right. That's Ricky Nix, the architect behind the renovation here. I'll be back in a few minutes, but in the meantime, let's take a look at some of the other things going on around the golf course. Well, there you have another renovation update here at Worthington Country Club. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it informative and maybe even answered a question or two that you might have had. My thanks go to Ricky Nix for his insightful information. Feel free to comment on the video, or if you have a question, maybe I can get it answered in a future update. I'll have another video for you next week. In the meantime, this is Rob Meads. Take care.